Beautiful ones, I am Bird Mejia. Welcome to my Soulmate and Twin Flame series. This is my little series on the twin flames, on how to recognize a twin flame. Uh, this is number three, if you haven't watched number one and number two. Number one is three ways, and number two is the most important way to recognize a twin flame. But this is number three on how to recognize a twin flame. All right, so number one way, and this is not absolute for everybody, but for a lot of twins, one twin actually has had a premonition of meeting another twin. So it may come as like uh, that person has had visions or they just might have an understanding. So it's kind of like one twin is aware that there is another twin and then the other twin oftentimes is not. So I, one, sometimes they call it the aware and the unaware twin. So I was the unaware twin, I didn't know. Um, but my twin flame started having visions of me when he was 10. He had a vision of me looking at him and smiling at him when he was 10 years old. He said it was the most powerful feeling and he felt amazing and he wanted to continue having these visions. He didn't tell his parents because they thought he would be, that he was crazy. But he had these and then he continued throughout his teens and through his adult life to continue having visions of me throughout his life. And I'm older than him so in the visions I was always the same age as him. So that is one way, a lot of times one twin has had a premonition. So if you are that twin that's always like had these visions of somebody or had this knowing, that could be you are the weird twin or it could be that you have never, I didn't, I didn't know. But so that is one way and I'm not sure if it's an absolute but I've read for other people that is how it's been. So one person may have had visions and had a premonition. All right, so number two way to recognize a twin is you can feel them. You can feel them powerfully like you've never felt anyone before. Now you can feel it soulmate too, especially if you've had a soulmate, like I have a soulmate that I've had many life, past lives with before, someone I've loved many times before. So like for example, him I can feel often too, but a twin is different. Like you can feel them all the time. If they're in pain, you can feel their pain. It is such a strong that you can feel them. It almost feels like you're going crazy. So I know for me when I met my twin, like I was online like crazy. I'm like, what is this? stuff like what is going on I didn't know what was happening and so I was just seeking all this information but you can feel them it is one way to recognize and especially like if they're in pain or if they have, like you just you just you feel them all the time sometimes so that is number two way to recognize a twin flame number three way and this is I'm gonna go more into detail on the next video on this but there is a runner chaser dynamic Mm, what does that mean? That means usually, and this is not always, but usually in a twin flame meeting, one person is going to run. Usually you'll connect and there's this beautiful connection and it's so beautiful and so powerful that one person gets scared or whatever they're thinking, but one person will eventually run. So what happens when that person runs, if you are the, they call it the chaser because when they run, you want to be with that person. You, a lot of times that connection is so strong, like you want to spend your life with that person. You, it hurts when they leave. You will chase them. And the more you chase, the more they run. I'll go get into that in another video too. But there will be a runner chaser dynamic. So that is another really important way to know that you're in a twin flame relationship because either you have run, I know when I met my twin at first I ran and I ran back into a relationship that I had been leaving and that was done but I went back in because I was scared. So I ran and then when I got done running, he ran. So oftentimes there will be a runner chaser dynamic and if you are having a runner chaser dynamic, I send my love to you. It, it hurts. It is, I just described it. For me, it was the most excruciating pain I've ever felt. I know when I ran, that's how my twin um, described it. He said, this is crazy. We haven't even been on a date yet. This hurts more than any relationship I've ever had break up in my entire life. And it was like crazy painful for him. So that is number three way to know that you are in a twin flame relationship. Stay tuned, I will be doing some videos on the runner chaser dynamic. 
And then if you are in, in a run and chase dynamic videos on how to handle the twin separation, because that is another ball of the game. All right, beautiful ones. Oh, subscribe. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and share this video. Let other people know. All right, you are beautiful. You are powerful. You are amazing. You are more amazing and more powerful than you know. You are lovable and you are loved. I love you.